In this video, we are going to see a new feature of Blazor for .NET 7, and that is that now we can prevent navigation from one page to another under certain conditions. For example, we have this small application here, which is a name form, which means that I can put a name here and insert it. Pretty simple. What I want to do is that if I write a name, but I don't click on insert, but instead I navigate away from this page, I want to be prevented from doing that because that could cause the user to lose some changes. So how can we do that? Well, in .NET 7 with Blazor, we can use the navigation log component. Let's see that. Let's come to Visual Studio and what we're going to do is that here, I am going to put my navigation log component. So navigation log, which will allow me to intercept that internal navigation that I'm going to do and prevent it in the case that we have this form with some changes that haven't been saved. So let's see that. Let's see that I can say here on um, before internal navigation. When we talk about internal navigation, we mean that navigation that occurs between the pages of our page. For example, if I go here, that is internal. If I go here, that is internal. But if I click on a button and that takes me to google.com, that is an external navigation because that is a different website. So what we're dealing here is with internal navigation. So let's come back here and let me create a method that's called on before internal navigation that again will allow me to intercept whatever internal navigation I try to do. So let me say here, private async task on before internal navigation and the parameter has to be location changing context context and this will allow me to know more about where the user is headed but also will allow me to prevent the navigation so what i want to do is the following as you can see here we have the input type text which is binded to this field that we have here and what i do is that when the user clicks on the bottom i execute the insert name function which adds the name to a list of strings and then clears up the name field. So I want to check if the name field has a value. If it doesn't, then it means that the form is empty and therefore we're good to go in that case. So I will say if name is different than empty, then we have to do something. What we have to do is to confirm to the user if they want to leave. So let me say bar confirm equal to await i need to get an instance of the ijs runtime service so that i can interact with javascript so let me say inject inject ijs runtime js and now let's come back here and let's say js invoke async bool i want to return a bool from a javascript function that i will execute which is a confirm function and I will say, do you wish to leave and lose the pending changes? Let me put that in another line so that everything can be visualized better. So let me put here, if not confirm, if the user clicks on cancel, then I will say context prevent navigation. And that's it. With this, we're good to go. Let me save and let's come back here. Let's go home. And you can see that I can navigate away if this is empty, if I put here Felipe, I can leave and that is great. But if I put a name and I don't click on insert, but I try to leave, then I get this message here. And if I press on cancel, then I stay here. But if I press on okay, then I'm allowed to go. So as you can see with this new component, we can easily implement the functionality of not allowing the user to leave a page if they are going to lose some data. Now, please keep in mind that this only works with links and the navigation manager service. But for example, if I do this and then I come here and directly write, let's say counter for the counter component, enter, I am not prevented to go because I am bypassing the internal mechanisms of Blazor for handling location changes. So this will only work if I am using normal links or the navigation manager service. If you want to learn more about Blazor, buy my Udemy course today and learn from scratch. I also have courses on Entity Framework Core, Concurrency in C Sharp and more. Link with a discount in the description of this video. Thank you.